As we move our classes online, you may wonder, what is the difference between Teams and Zoom? I'm Tyler Parker with It Only Takes a Minute, your resource for all things technology. ESU offers a plethora of resources for conferencing and communications, and today we'll be comparing the two. Both software are great when it comes to online collaboration, but they both have their strengths and weaknesses. Both Microsoft Teams and Zoom offer individual and group communication through messaging and video conferencing. This can come in handy when working on group projects, online instruction, presentations, or traditional face-to-face -face meetings. So the question is, when does one work better than the other? To help answer that, let's go to the source. Sam is representing Teams, while Dakota will defend Zoom. Let's get started. Fight! I am hosting an online class with 20 students. Teams or Zoom? That would be Zoom. For all online instruction, ESU users should use Zoom. Correct. Next scenario. I need to ask my colleague working from home a quick question, but I would like to video chat. Teams or Zoom? I can handle that one. One-on-one -on -one communications, including video chat, is perfect for Teams. Also, you probably already have Teams open, so it's literally one click away. That's the answer. I need to share a file that our team has been collaborating on, but I need to explain a few things when I send it. Teams or Zoom? Me again. Teams integrates with our existing SharePoint Drive and OneDrive. Sharing files is both secure and works with our current infrastructure. Correct. Next one. I'm going to conduct a video interview with a prospective employee. Which one should I use? Zoom is best designed to handle that. It doesn't require participants to have an existing ESU account and allows for phone dial-in service for ESU employees. Correct. For clarification, Teams has that feature, but ESU does not license them presently. I need to chat with my colleague who is presently in a meeting. I really need to tell her something before she finishes that meeting. What can I do? Teams is first and foremost an IM tool at ESU. It's easy to send an instant message, and if your colleague isn't paying attention, it will at least send them an email notifying them of your message. That's a great feature, and it prods users that haven't used Teams that they have the option. Okay, let's try this one. I need to record my video conference with my class. Which one is recommended for that scenario? I can meet that challenge. ESU suggests Zoom because it is academically focused. Also, you can record your entire video conference. Perfect. Okay, last one. I only have an iPhone and I need to do a quick video conference with my team of six. Which should I use? Finish him. Zoom has a dedicated app that works great on iPhone. Teams also has an app and works great on iPhones. That's correct. Both answers are true. It looks like we have a tie. Fatality. This is just a quick overview of the key features of both platforms to help you decide which best meets your chat and video conferencing needs. Check out our website for more information and stay tuned for our next video.